Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. It's -a me, it's a Chris Pratt. I was going to say hello or something like that. Uh, or yeah. Hello. I don't know if I say hell no. I don't know. I hell no? Hell That's no. what a lot of people are saying. I was like, hello. no. I just don't know what I think about this. Um, I don't know if Mario says hell no. no. No, he doesn't. I'm making that up. That's what the fan, a lot of the fans are he saying. He sees Bowser and he's like, hell no. We're going to talk about yeah. it. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. More on that in a little bit. And thank you so much uh, for the support. Uh, who's not getting a lot of support is Chris Pratt. Uh, it was announced yesterday that he is going to be playing Mario literally Literally the last choice that anyone would have expected, except for this random guy on Twitter, uh, like over a year ago, said that they're going to cast somebody like Chris Pratt. Of course they are, because they don't cast, when they do these movies anymore, they don't cast the original voice people. They go find some celebrity. We saw it with Scooby-Doo. Mm -hmm. They bring somebody else in, and it's not a case of the person's not here anymore. Yeah, this is a trend. Now, Charles Martinet is going to be in the movie, but in a diminished capacity, I guess. Uh, we're going to talk about that. And I, I guess the bigger issue is, you know, dedicated voice actors getting pushed aside for celebrities. And look, you know, I like Chris Pratt just fine, but he is the last person I would have thought to, to do Mario. Mm -hmm. I mean, he might do a good Mario. I don't know. Now, I think the media is going to be extra hard on him, though, because he's Chris Pratt. Well, they hate Chris Pratt. They yeah. hate Chris Pratt. Everybody hates Chris Everybody Pratt. hates Chris Pratt. Yeah, so we're going to talk about all of that. But before we get into it any further, here is our sponsor. Before we get into this video any further, we want to give a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Surfshark VPN. We've got a special deal for Clownfish TV viewers. Enter promo code CLOWNFISH for 83% off and three extra months for free. Now you're probably asking yourself what a VPN is. It's a virtual private network. It keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all the information sent between your device and the internet. VPNs swap the real location of your device with a new one, AKA changing your IP address. This way you can virtually travel to any country around the globe. Why would you want to do that? Again, keeping your data safe. Forbes, Forbes, just earlier this year, said that you should use a VPN. So you have security on public Wi-Fi, so your data is private, you can protect your privacy from the from your government, from your government. They're even bringing up Snowden. I'm not gonna talk more about that. I'm talking like, I'm talking like Netflix and junk. Like you can watch Japanese programming. You can, you can go to many different uh, anime and Japanese K-drama sites and watch all kinds of content that might be region locked. If you're an American, you can't watch it, but if you're in America, but if you're using a VPN, you can virtually fly to Japan and watch these shows. Uh, Newsflash though, they're not dubbed, so you may have a little bit of a problem. Take advantage of our special offer. Again, a really big thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this video. And now we're going to get back into it. All right, we're back. So anyway, uh, according to comic book resources, Super Mario fans can't stop hating on Chris Pratt. Like I said, everybody hates Chris Pratt. Uh, a lot of people hate Twitter Chris hate. Pratt. Twitter gets mad at him all the damn time. Well, he doesn't even have to say anything. He, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't do anything and they're hating on him. He can make a joke about the election and they try to cancel him. This, they just they just really, really, really have a hate boner for Chris Pratt. He could not go to a political fundraiser and people make assumptions about him supporting the other guy because he didn't go to, you know what I'm saying? Like yes. it's, there's definitely a hate on for Chris Pratt, but you know, of course studios don't hate him because he makes money. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why he got cast as Mario instead of Charles Martinet. Of course, Charles Martinet being the, the uh, voice actor of Mario for the video games. Very nice guy. Want to take a little side yeah, story go for here? It. So, one of the saddest conventions I've ever been to, <laughs> it was bad ever, was Wizard World Pittsburgh. It was um, like the last year they did it, wasn't it? Yeah, and for I mean, obviously, COVID was kind of the the kill shot for them, and Wizard wound up selling. Well, this off is before their, COVID. It was before COVID. But, it was still sad. Yeah, it was gone by the next year. 
Wizard came into Pittsburgh, bought the Pittsburgh Comic Con, did not realize that there were a bunch of other conventions into their homework in Pittsburgh, and one of them being Steel City, which runs you know three times a year. We uh, were at the meeting with the with the vendors, and they're like about the other conventions, like what other conventions? They had no idea. Like you bought this without knowing? Yeah, so the competition was pretty fierce. Anyway, Pittsburgh, uh, Wizard World Pittsburgh, the last year they did, they had some pretty big guests. They had a bunch back out because they knew they weren't going to make the guarantee back. Um, but they were actually doing Groupons to get people there. Yes, they were. And uh, uh, I was a guest that year, and I had time to talk to people because God knows we weren't selling anything. Yeah. You know? So I walked around. I got to I got to talk to Charles Martinet actually on multiple occasions. Very, very nice guy. Mm -hmm. He's a very nice guy. And I got an autographed picture for my nephew. Yes, yeah, a big and, fan. And uh, told him what a big fan my nephew was. And and he, yeah, he was he was just a very nice guy. He walked by the table, you have to go to the bathroom. And he would he would take his uh, he had a, a cardboard uh, a question block he'd take it with him and pretend to hit it like, you know, <laughs> it's like, here we go to the bathroom. You yeah. Know? Uh, fun guy. Um, Charlie Cox was there too. I know. I, I didn't get to go that year. I forget why. I had to do something with the kids, I think. I don't know. There was uh, some reason. You didn't, didn't miss go. much. Yeah. It was. Miss Charlie Cox. You, you missed Charlie Cox. Yeah. So anyway, that's my Charles Martinet story. Uh, very nice guy. Now, the thought process probably is, you know, he just does voice clips for Mario. Could you had two hours of yeah. Charles Martinet doing that. But, you know, he's he's done a lot of other voices. He's, you know, actually pretty pretty good. It's just, it's just weird. And we know at the end of the day, I think they chose what they chose because they're trying to put celebrities in. That's exactly like, again, it. Again, we saw it with, like, you know, Looney Tunes. We mm -hmm. saw it with Scoob. Mm -hmm. um, and they're just getting rid of people who've done it for years, you know, to try to leverage voice talent to try to get people to go to the theater. That is true. And this is, I, I would call it kind of the Pixar effect. I think mm -hmm. ever since Toy Story, I mean, they had some celebrities in Disney movies before, but it used to be that they had dedicated voice actors for the most part. And a lot of people who did the voices, you, you didn't know who they were, you know? They were, yeah, they had actors that did them, but it wasn't yeah, like... Yeah, Buddy Hackett, you know, it's not exactly an A-lister, you know? What Robin Williams was the biggest one Disney had. At the time, yeah. Yeah, because he was kind of at the height of his career. The one kid from uh, Full House did, uh, was Aladdin? Yeah, but that's was it Aladdin or was he? The it was he was Aladdin. Yeah, okay. yeah, Steve, Steve. Yeah, but most people didn't even know who was doing the voice. Now they literally advertise the the voice actors, like, right? Starring Chris Pratt, starring Robert De Niro. So we're getting Chris Pratt as Mario. Uh, this was announced yesterday during the direct showcase. Uh, uh, Miyamoto, the creator of Super Mario, announced the voice cast for the Spry Plumbers' first animated feature film. Chris. Pratt is Mario, Charlie Day is going to be Luigi, uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, Jack Black is going to be Bowser. It's just weird. Uh, Seth Rogen, I think, is Donkey Kong, and Keegan-Michael Key has joined the film. Now, <laughs> yeah, fans express their distaste over the film's cast, especially Chris Pratt. Again, Chris Pratt's on the cancellation list, so it was like a double, yes, yeah. a double whammy for him. But uh, the thing that's interesting about this is they're they're bringing uh, the Donkey Kong characters into it, not mm -hmm. not because they're bringing the Donkey Kong characters into it, but the version of the Donkey. They're bringing the rare version of the Donkey Kong characters into it because they have a Donkey Kong coaster. Yeah, coming to do the, for yep. yeah. So I'm like, this is kind of it's not just a Mario movie. It's going to be a Mario and Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong. Well, I think they're working on the coaster now in, in Japan. I, they, I know or, uh, Epic Universe in Orlando was supposed to get it. Yeah, but um, there's been some pictures out of Japan that looks like they're probably putting the coaster in over there as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that makes sense. Double, you know, double promotion there. Well, yeah, because what the, what these uh, theme parks do now, since they're global, is they'll develop a ride in one park and then they just clone it all over the world. So I'm trying to understand why... Okay, I get why Twitter's mad because they, they hate Chris Pratt. They keep trying to cancel him because he doesn't vote the way they think he should vote. So that just means that you should be dead. You should just fall off the earth and die. Um, you know, it, you, you, you're you tolerant and accepting unless it's somebody you don't like. And then they're your most bullying, toxic load of shit I've ever seen. Um, so but why is everybody else mad? Because it's not Charles Martinet? I, I think because it's not Charles Martinet. And again, it's another example of a an A-list celebrity being given, uh, you know, a role just because they're an A-list celebrity and not because they're necessarily right for the role. Now, I yeah. think Chris Pratt's an okay actor. I think he's all right. I can't picture him as Mario. See, I can't either, but we haven't heard it yet. So I don't want to well, like, you know. He's not doing it yet. He's he's trying. He did. To... He put a video up or something, but he's like, well, you have to wait to hear the voice. And it's like. We're still working on it. Maybe people would feel better. 
if you actually did the voice and that if it sounded right, unless it doesn't sound right and they know that people are gonna have a fit. I, I mean- Oh, I can already I can already see the headlines. Uh, you know, Chris Pratt, that racist homophobe, is it, he sounds like a gay Italian stereotype. Probably. You know, I'll be like, you know, well, he, you, I think he's doing, well, is he even Italian? How dare he? Yeah, that's going to be, that's yeah. That's the other one. And it's like, meanwhile, it's okay if, you know, you race bend, gender bend, everybody else. You know, that's fine. But is he Italian? I know, right? Uh, Idris Elba is Knuckles, which I think is actually a good choice. You mm -hmm. know, I can hear it in my head now. And after watching The Suicide Squad, I'm like, yeah, I can, yeah. I can see it, yeah. yeah. I can see that. But they'd probably be like, why, why can't Idris Elba be Mario? <laughs> so are they doing this because Sonic did so well? I don't know. Because here's the thing. Mario stuff, like, as far as being into films and things, hasn't always done the best. What people don't understand is this is actually animated, so it does, you don't have to actually look like the character. People wanted Danny DeVito. Because he looks like Mario. The thing is, you don't lo have to look like the character because it's a voice acting job. But he's actually Italian, too. Well, that's true. So he's staying he can't do the voice. I don't know. He's almost 80 years old. I just can't see him doing it. I can't either. All I'm going to hear, like, look at the Lorax. All I can hear in my head is Danny DeVito. Yes. You know? I just, I mean. It's, I have loved it. We have, a, we have a cutout of Danny DeVito in the I think what's going office, on is but, people are right. like. They're, they're like, well, you don't look like it. Well, you don't have to. It's voice acting. Well, Chris Chris Pratt, now he has a license to just pack on all that weight he lost. Yeah, Parks and right, just to get in the character. I've been eating nothing but spaghetti eight times a day. Oh, that's stereotyping. How dare you? I've been eating the meatballs. I've been eating the marinara. Oh, marinara. We got a funny story about that. This one convention <laughs> we went to. <laughs> They that. had they had a I really bad knockoff Super Mario costume. It was for a, uh, <laughs> uh, a retro game store, and yeah. they had the mascot at their table. And it was not an official Nintendo costume, and it was really off brand Mario. So Squid King and I were calling him Marinara. <laughs> it's true. They it's were. Marinara. It's a me. It's a Marinara. <laughs> It's true. Anyway. Anyway, he's the only actor whose photo was black and white during the reveal of the Mario movie cast, implying he died while recording lines. Uh, watching the Nintendo Direct live and seeing Chris Pratt Mario, and then two minutes later seeing Bayonetta is like getting hit by a bus and then getting hit by the ambulance. It's <laughs> all the way to get you. One thing that good that did come out of this, though, and, and Squid King sent me a link last night, was they were bringing in 64 to Switch, mm -hmm. which is cool, but it's also going to cost extra. So, oh, of course it is. Of course it is. We regret to announce that Chris Pratt, in an attempt to method act, has fallen down a bottomless pit and died. Yeah, that's, this is dead. what gets me. This is what gets me about Twitter and their, their shit about cancellation and that. Is that they decide that somebody did something bad or some, it's some slight, even if it's not real. They decide that it is. And then it's not enough to like be like, well, we have to take their career. They need to drop dead to make me happy. It's like, and then they go on about, well, that's because they aren't accepting of my beliefs and, they're, and there's not, and we are all for acceptance and tolerance and diversity. And I'm like, the most unaccepting, BS, bullying, toxic, loads of shit I've ever seen are the people yelling about inclusion. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I think a lot of it is sold that Charles Martinet. Charles yeah, Martinez? I mean, I mean, Who the hell is Charles Martinez? Dude, <laughs> you're a blue check. Do better. Who is Charles Martinez? Uh, Chris Pratt, dinosaur seducer. I've always kind of felt you can't make Mario the main character. He doesn't have any flaws or struggles. Uh, I don't know. Captain really? Lou. Really? Doesn't have any flaws or struggles? Okay. Captain Lou did a pretty good job of making no a flawed. Flaws. Bob Bob Hoskins made a whole flawed movie about Mario. I'm just saying he's got I flaws. I can't. The, he the didn't first... have any flaws or struggles. Yeah, there's no struggles in Mario. Leap it over pits, giant turtle things are trying to bite him in the ass. No struggles at all. Well, his character flaw now is being voiced by Chris Pratt. You know? Oh my god, it's so funny. And it's all it's all tweets. Are we surprised? Yeah, this is this is like this is the circle, this is the media circle jerk. It's like the media They're trying to get him placed takes, Danny DeVito. That's not gonna happen. It's a voice acting job, guys. It's not he doesn't actually you're not actually gonna see him on screen as the character. Yeah, well, Charles is in the movie again. Um, that was my first thought. Is like they're not even going to put Charles Martin. Yeah, yeah, that's where, if I, where I have an issue with it. They'll they'll give him a cameo or something. That's where you know? I have an issue with um, it. But he is in the movie, so not. I don't think he's going to be in it very long. Why isn't my talk about how much a dipshit Seth Rogen is? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, 
So many fans are likening the casting of Pratt to Ben Schwartz playing Sonic in the character's live action film. Well, yeah, because they had uh, Roger Craig Smith mm -hmm. was the voice actor for 12 years. But again, it's, but Ben Schwartz isn't exactly like an A-lister. No, you no. Know? But, They're probably like, you know, this person is doing dialogue in the video game. Can they carry it in the movie? There are probably stupid things going on. Like, are they part of the, you know, whatever, Screen Actors Guild? Yeah, they they, a lot of times they you know, do that. Some behind the scenes bullshit. You know. I think it's just name recognition. And then like going about Sonic, the difference with Sonic was he looked like shit. And everybody, re you know, revolted against that because it was like he didn't even look like Sonic. Yeah. It wasn't even about the voice acting. It was it was that he looked like crap because it's animated. He didn't look like the character. Um, it's not the same thing. It's like apples to oranges here. Um, so we got Cranky Kong in this too. So they're they're just taking Donkey Kong Country and and Mario and just kind of smushing it together because yeah. that's all the all the IP and and uh, Universal Orlando's Mario in, Kong Country. Mario Kong Country. Because they kind of kept Mario and Donkey Kong separate, you know, for Mario's last... Donkey Country. I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mario's Donkey Punch. There you go. Oh no! I'm just like it's a me. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I just know that the Mario stuff never does all that well. I mean, it was cute, like for Saturday morning cartoon thing, or. It just it just does not translate, especially as not a translate live action we've learned. Illumination's doing it. I don't know. We're talking we're talking the despicable me people. We're talking the Lorax people. I I think this one I, I don't know. I, I if the Japanese were doing it, I would have a lot more faith in it. Let me put so, it that way. We'll just yeah. see what happens. I, I don't like the fact I really like the fact that they're, they're casting all these celebrity Hollywood celebrity voice actors because with it comes the Hollywood celebrity agenda. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. I can totally see both sides. I'm just mad that they screwed over Martin A. That's like, you know, yeah. that's what makes me mad. I mean, I just think it's funny because Twitter's having a meltdown because I hate Chris Pratt, which amuses me greatly. I don't know. I have no opinion one way or the other yet. I just think I'm just like, I just think it's going to be a clusterfuck of why. Yeah, I would be very shocked if this movie turned out well, but I also... Nothing surprises me anymore. I was also very shocked that Sonic turned out Yeah, it well. did, so, it did. I, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I guess, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I just think that Hollywood needs us to stop. Gonna wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.